In this video, I want to use the option to bake new material texture out of the Unreal Engine to optimize the whole materials. I first want to create a new material. So let's start here. Um, I name it mostly of all the textures we are using. We will use a, a diffuse texture, a normal texture, and for the metallic roughness and ambient occlusion, um, the MRAO texture. So let's set up this texture very quick. So we use 2D texture uh, parameters. This is for the diffuse texture. And we will duplicate this and use ones for the normal texture here. And one for the metallic roughness and ambient occlusion. And we want to have the functionality to adjust the parameter by a few values. Um, we will use the diffuse texture as it is, but for the other textures, um, especially for the uh, metallic roughness and ambient occlusion, we can um, multiply this value and use a scalar parameter. So this is for the metallic and the metallic value is our red value here in this texture, our red channel and we will do the same also for the roughness This is the green channel we are using here and the ambient occlusion we can use as it is and we will use another parameter also for the specularity value. So this is our very simple um, material and this is for the normal and yeah that's that's it. So we can apply and save the texture and now we want to create or bake our different texture from our uh, mesh or material uh, we have. So we will select our weapon, as you can see here, and now we will use the baking, bake material which is under the materials. Uh, section here, use this diffuse texture, the normal, and then the metallic roughness and the ambient occlusion will go with a resolution of 1024 by 1024. That's fine enough for, for this uh, object. And let's confirm that. We combine this three texture for an rough, a metallic roughness and ambient occlusion texture. We will do this with GIMP. So first of all, we have to export this. And now we will um, open GIMP and we will import our different textures. So this is our ambient occlusion texture and we will also load in the metallic and roughness channel. So we have to change the image from RGB modus to gray layered modus and then we combine it by color components and set together and as I said our red channel will be metallic so we have to pick the metallic channel here green will be roughness 
and ambient occlusion will be the blue channel. So that's it. And now, and we will save it as um, texture for the bionet as RMAO, so metallic graphics ambient occlusion, this way around. And we can save it. Uh, let's close GIMP and we can import this texture now here. Delete the single channels and use this one. And maybe you can already use this material instance for the bionet. And we will pick our material here that we created for diffuse, normal, telegraphness and ambient occlusion. And we will change these textures. Now for our metallic roughness and ambient occlusion, we will use our new generated T Bionet MRAO texture. Now let's open this mesh here. So this is um, still the old um, texture, you can uh, see it here. And we will um, change it to our new texture and then we can adjust the parameters. So let's go to the MI Bionet, this one. See, it's a bit different, but um, as I said, we can adjust it. So we will play a bit more with a spec value and lower this value, so maybe to a value of 0 0.3. And we will change also the roughness a bit, so maybe 0 0.75. And we have here a metallic value of 0 0.9. And yeah, that's it. So we can Use this texture now, save it here. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.